Perhaps the greatest high flyer of this era. Here comes Ricochet. You're right, Cole. We are looking at an amazing high flyer and a fearless risk taker. The one and only. The following is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet! You know, it's just shocking the things that Ricochet can do in the ring. Oh, I'll be the first to admit, Ricochet is a downright spectacular talent. Yeah, stuns his opponents with his speed and nimbleness. Highlight-worthy moments always follow his entrance. And his partner from Albany, New York, weighing in at 200 pounds, Bobby Fischer. We talk a lot about locker room dynamics. You'll never hear a single negative thing backstage about this superstar. Oh, well, that is what happens when you treat your fellow superstars with respect. They respect you right back. There are no awards for congeniality here in WWE. That respect means nothing if you lose. Let's go! Let's go! Yes! Yes! I got my money on you! He calls himself the standard bearer of this division and plans on proving it in a matter of moments. Apollo is here, and he is determined. And from Benway State, Nigeria, weighing in at 241 pounds, Apollo Crews. Made a return to NXT, joined the main event scene there and is doing the best work of his career. Always had the athleticism, but now he has a drive like never before. There's no telling what Cruz is capable of with this newfound focus. Well, if Cruz can truly unleash that untapped aggression we've seen under the surface, nobody's safe. The WWE Universe just exploded. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, looks as ready as ever for action tonight. Georgia. 
challenger weighing in at 220 pounds, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. You just have to be impressed with the form that Cody Rhodes has taken. He's become a leader, a mentor, and a main eventer. Those are all great things to be, Saxton, but we all know what Cody truly wants to be more than anything else. He's a world champion. Hard times and perseverance, Cody Rhodes embodies them all. All in the name of finishing the story that has eluded his father. Cody seems dead set on reaching the pinnacle in the name of the Rhodes family. Tag team action underway. Two teams duking it out for supremacy in this one. We talk a lot about who the best tag teams of all time are, but these guys are tired of talking. Both teams are looking to prove themselves and steal the show here tonight. Skillful reversal stops Ricochet. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Uh-oh. Face first. What impact! Vicious shoulder tackle in the corner. Whoa! That was a power bomb with one. He could pin his opponent right here. And he kicks out at two. Wow! Maybe not. Maybe not. Immediately powers out. Not time to expect victory yet. A well-timed dodge. Launched with a belly to belly. He's got him scouted. What a pump kick. Uh oh, hazardous part of town here on the apron. A back suplex right onto the apron. The apron can do some serious damage. It might be worse than being hit with a steel chair. Uses an elbow to disrupt that attack. Oh, man, that was nasty. Good golly, what a knee. Apollo's composure being shaken with that attack. Yeah, it looked like Ricochet's aim was dead on with that one. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Things are getting risky. This will not end well. Back suplex, spine crushing. Hitting the edge of the ring like that can do some lasting damage to the body. Oh. Ricochet looking to get the WWE Universe involved here. Look out. Oh, the high risk doesn't pay off. Tempted fate and paid dearly for it. That haphazard approach definitely proved costly. Apollo letting him know it's too easy. Pump kick on target. Shoulders down. And a shoulder in the air. These men knew this match was going to be hard fought. Left by the turnbuckles. Placing their opponent in position for the second rope with a moonsault. He's not letting fatigue set in or get the better of him. Oh, face stop. Talk about dismantling your opponent. He missed a tag. Cooking with gas now. Oh, vicious running knee lift. Oh, my gosh. Oh, what a knee. Shot after shot. Oof, ruthless striking. Oh, catapulting down on the opponent. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Rolling into a monkey flip. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. Big clothesline. Vicious right forearm. Uh-oh. Elbow 
drop to the knee. Right to the kidneys from behind. He's on his heels a bit now. And yeah, it's about time to heavily consider tagging in that partner. Guys, we could be looking at the start of one of the all-time great sports entertainment rivalries. Way to put the cart before the horse, Cole. Sure, there's potential here. There always is. But they're not exactly having to be ripped apart from me. Oh, my God! the save for his team. Celebration underway. Great win tonight. Really needed that one as well. That was a great... Well, well we got another superstar. He's, uh, I guess, adding to the celebration, showing his appreciation. I sense a hint of sarcasm in the celebration. Yeah, you're probably right. This is one dangerous individual. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Franklinville, New Jersey. Weighing in at 249 pounds, Joe Gacy. A man already well known for his mind games. You cannot discount the power and speed of Gacy either. has placed himself as the wedge, driving the WWE apart. Between the mind games and the attacks, I'd say Gacy knows exactly what he's doing. Yeah, looking to dismantle the locker room from within. Well, I can only hope his reign of terror stops tonight. They're on their feet! for Johnny Wrestling. And his opponent, representing DIY from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 199 pounds, Johnny Gargano. Johnny Wrestling, perhaps the most beloved competitor in NXT history. Yeah, but Johnny Gargano has also made an immediate impact in the WWE and has an even brighter future than ever. Something special happens whenever he's in the ring. Well, he's ready to make magic once again for the WWE Universe. One thing we know for sure about Johnny Gargano is that there is no quit in him. A superstar who relentlessly chases his dreams and always finds a way to keep himself motivated. Yeah, he's one stubborn individual. 
But I'll admit, it takes a ton of tenacity to put together a career like Johnny's. He has that in ample supply. That willingness to never give up could give Johnny the edge once again here. He's going to be tested mentally and physically, though, by Joe Gacy. You can't keep your eye off the ball when you're in the ring with Gacy. He wants you to lose your focus, to lose your will, because once you do, once you do, it's all over. Gacy will make sure of it. Big impact off the neck breaker. Roll through. Rolling through into a kick. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Elbow puts an end to that. Cross body. Off the ropes. Leg drop. If Johnny Gargano wants to win this match, he needs to get in that big match mindset of his. He needs to go to that place where he'll do anything to score the victory. It's certainly been true in the past that when Gargano commits himself to a goal, he seems unstoppable. That could be the key for him tonight. That was a long two count there. Oh, look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. Talk about devastation. He's lost some of his win now. Yeah, some courageous offense from John Gargano. Looks like Johnny Gargano's locked in on his opponent. Backs. Uh-oh. He's one step ahead there. Dropped right on their face. Gargano! Oh, raw dart to the turnbuckle. Hoping to end it here. WWE fans on their feet showing their respect for this matchup. Great sportsmanship go. being shown here. Oh, come on. Just shake the superstar's uh, hand. Obviously, emotions are still running high, Saxton. You don't know how bad it feels to come up short in a situation like this. Jack is here. Get ready for some hard justice. The following is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Worcester, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 270 pounds. Die Jack! 
A man who's as cold-hearted as he is big. There are few people who are as disciplined as Dijak. Methodical in his actions, there is no movement wasted in the ring. With strength, stamina, and shocking aerial skills, there's no telling what Dijak will hit you with next. He has been on a warpath after his rebirth, and now he's fully unlocked his true self. Bringing his brand of justice to the WWE, and no one is safe from Dijak's wrath. Oh, yeah, I am pumped for this guy. And his opponents, first from Japan, weighing in at 206 pounds, Kong A. Bush I. Some would say this superstar thinks a little too much of themselves, but the tape doesn't lie. This is a serious contender for any title. They need to loosen up, have a little fun. Heck, Maybe even lose a match once in a while. <laughs> that is horrible advice. The age of Alexander continues. And from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 200 pounds, Cedric Alexander. Looks to me Cedric Alexander sporting a more confident attitude than ever. Confidence well earned, amazing high flying and striking skills on display when Cedric competes. Cedric Alexander, former cruiserweight champion, former Raw Tag Team champion. And listen, he's got a bright future. Three superstars in the ring, but only one victor in this triple threat matchup. Hashtag triple threat. Simple rules. First competitor to earn a fall, whether by pinfall or submission, will be the winner. The rules may be simple, but nothing is going to come easy in this fight. I assure you of that. Oh, my. Sent flying. It might not be flashy, but sometimes you just got to toss another person to make a statement. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. That's a kick that would leave you gasping for air. And Dijak clearly ready for a fight here. Oh, what a counter. Reversal on top of reversal. Reciprocating the initial reversal. Quick response to Dijak's offense. Oh, from behind. Oh, wow. Frankensteiner. Nice. Corey, there are so many variables in a triple threat. Does that make it possible to execute any sort of strategy? Oh, everybody's got a plan until they get drilled in the face. You gotta watch your back. The shot that hurts the most is the one you don't see coming. Byron, how do you plan for a battle like this? Well, I try and fight out of a corner because then at least you see everything that's in front of you. A quick oh. strike to the lower body. Lighten up the chest and now straight to the knee. That kind of focused attack on the leg could provide dividends. Drop kick from behind. Ouch. Oh, my God. He skirts away, living to fight another day. Taking it outside the ring now. Oh. And now with the kendo stick in hand, he's ready to do some real damage. He is revving up the engine. He's not going to let anything stop him. And Alexander did not see that coming. Now would be the time for everyone to clear out. Easier said than done. They are not concerned about anyone else's well-being. Oh, oh, a big boot. Bam! Discus 
vicious knee strike. He fends off the attack. Uh-oh. And that one misses the mark. Hooked up and boom, back drop, suplex. On a high angle, right across the shoulders. Whip back into the ring. He's looking for something. This could get dangerous. And it's time to play the game, as they say, with this sledgehammer. And Cedric can't stop any offense coming his way. But Cedric can't allow this burst to hinder him. Any one of these attacks could cause irreparable damage, but I don't think you can come back from this many. And he's able to counter. Oh, snapmare. Pow! Wow, what an arm drag. This match grinded him down a little. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. And Dijak clearly ready for a fight here. Great job refocusing to reverse that. Ooh! -hoo -hoo. the count. Beautiful arm ringer applied. Oh, by a Larry right to the face. Reversed into the neck breaker. Measured stomp right to the gut. Oh, and then the chest as well. If you're going to grab a kendo stick, you better be prepared to use it. attacks that can put a superstar on the shelf for a long time. He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this crowd. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Great reaction from Cedric. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? Oh no, now that he has the kendo stick, I definitely do not want to be in his path of destruction. He's starting to struggle here. After lasting this long in a triple threat, it'd be a shame to take a nosedive now. And a drop kick! Picture perfect. He's taking this to the floor now. And he's pulled the ring apron up, looking under there for something. He's thinking the steel chair is just what he needs to wreak some havoc here. Hooked up. Start counting, Saxton. One, two, three. We could be here four. all day. Power. I think you're right. Rotating vertical suplex. Nicely done. He is delivering elbow after elbow. Dijak showing no fear, no intimidation. And he tosses it back in now. Jumping complete shot. Wow, oh, look at the knee. He strikes. Precision strikes. Punishing their opponent now. Bicycle knee strike. Ouch. These men have been giving each other such a beating. And you can see the toll of that beating taking effect with every movement. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Transition. It. Boot 
to the face will free him. And he sends him into the corner. Back in the ring now. Counters that. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. Setting up for something here. Ooh, and that's a shot to the throat. Up across the shoulders. Boom! Feast your eyes. Dijak is just about to finish this. Hangs on by a thread. His opponent thought he had it in the bag for sure. This is when you have to switch game plans. You can't let yourself get discouraged. And there needs to be a refocus now. That was the moment that could have ended things. A moment that's being replayed in their heads right now. It is beyond electric in here. This energy is on another level. Close line. Wicked kick to the face. I don't know. This is a good idea. This is going to take more strength than he has left. A lift up. Wow. Oh, this is going to hurt. Ah, stop to the belly. It'll take things into the ring. Response to Johnny Jack's offense. Shoulders down. Got it. Sees the opportunity in this triple threat match. Here is your winner. Call a push I. What a performance. Huge win here in this triple threat match. Yeah, it may sound cliche, but you have to keep your head on a swivel in a match like this. And our winner did just that. Uh, referee calls to the bell. We're underway. And the referee goes down just oh, like no. that. It's a hazardous environment for an official. And can the match continue? The ref took a nasty fall. Yeah, can someone please check on the official? The bell rings coming right off the heels of some underhanded tactics. We all know just how much a calculated attack like that could affect the course of this match. He goes for the quick pin attempt, but the ref can't get there to start counting. This is all for nothing. Is Drew McIntyre. It couldn't have felt good being chucked around like that. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Oh, caught a power bomb. Crashing down like that, having the wind knocked out of you. Never a good time for that to happen. Set up for the side rush and leg sweep. Great wherewithal on the counter. Put into the corner now. Wicked clothesline. When you're in the ring with a powerhouse like Drew McIntyre, what's the most important thing to keep in mind? It's crucial that you show McIntyre no mercy. This is a guy who could take a real beating and keep on swinging. So, hold nothing back. If you give McIntyre even a sliver of an opening, he'll exploit it. That shot on Gulak did not miss. McIntyre causing damage 
and causing harm. Uh oh. <laughs> Somersault plancha to the floor. Just a devil may care attitude on full display. Going for broke and it pays off. Loving blow to the chest. And now gets tossed into the ring. Able to reverse that one. DDT. Planet. Is it enough? Kicks out at just one. Not even a near fall there. Able to capitalize on McIntyre's mistake. Lately, things have been a tad heated between these competitors. Yeah, this could develop into a pretty serious rivalry if it keeps escalating. Maybe they'll squat. This could do it! And McIntyre with a quick kick out. Not a very effective pin attempt. Just disrespectful. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Gulak showed off some of his impressive skill set with that attack. Shoved into the ropes and attacking the lower back. Neckbreaker! Kick to the abdomen. Now a series of vicious outs in the turnbuckle. Stops. That was a showing of control and aggression. Something they'll want to keep up. Climbing up top, he's got big plans. Blast off. Frustration might be starting to set in. Just stretching out the arm. Shooting pain in the shoulders, the kind of thing that builds and builds during a match. Escape just in time. McIntyre counters with power. Ooh, He's got him down. Is this it? A kick out before three. Just barely, but it counts. I think it's time. See how you can't be disappointed in winning like this. And how can you even celebrate a win as tainted as this one? Taint. Oh, man, Owens does not look happy tonight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds. 
Kevin Owens. Throughout his career, KO has let it be known he will fight anyone, anywhere. Truly, Kevin Owens has no hint of fear in his being. It's a true test for this guy. Austin Theory is a complete package of speed, athleticism, and strength. Austin Theory is ready for action. And he can go all day. And his opponent from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, the worldwide wrestling national champion, Austin Theory. Already has an ego way beyond his years, and it's getting stronger by the day. Well, it's at least a start, Cole. You can't deny his talent and how it's propelled him to the highest heights. But can he stay at those heights? Or will he crash back down to Earth? Theory here, a superstar who loves to get under his opponent's skin, loves to just grind their gears. Look, Cole, Theory can't help it if he's just so preternaturally talented that it makes everyone else jealous. They're just embarrassing themselves, getting so worked up about it, and Theory just so happens to take pleasure in embarrassing his opponents. Yeah, tonight should be no different for Theory. And on the other side of this match is the prize fighter, Kevin Owens. KO is in full attack mode tonight. Battle scars are marks of honor for Owens. KO enters the ring knowing he will endure pain and that he must blast through his opponent to earn a win tonight. Kevin Owens is a hard-headed competitor who can be stubborn as a bull inside the ring. Is there any way his opponent can turn that into their advantage here? Well, any superstar's strength can also be their weakness. If it were me in the ring, I'd try to fluster him by being cagey with my offense. If you only engage with Owens on your terms, he's sure to get frustrated and start making mistakes. Utilizing the top rope to inflict more punishment. Oh, man. Draped over the top rope. from Theory. Snap power slam. He avoids the damage. DDT. And he wants nothing to do with any of that. Taking this to the floor and now thrown back into the ring. Close line. Look at this. Cross body to the floor. Tossed Caution out the window, and it paid off. Adrenaline is through the roof now. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. Throws the opposition back into the ring. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Oh. 
Look at this. Oh, from the rope. And here's a cover. Getting the shoulder up before two. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. Oh, my goodness. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Austin with an explosive sequence here. I like this approach. Frustrating KO by only engaging with him on their terms. I think the fuse has been lit here, guys. Yeah, Saxton. Now we'll see if this is dynamite or a dud. Loving blow. Ooh, what an elbow. A barrage of elbows. Oh, repeated elbows in the corner. And any one of those shots could take you out for good. Time to go for a ride. Bang! What a move! Beautiful takedown into the account. Oh, the pressure on the left knee. He's trying to fight it. He's trying to break out. It does it. Theory is becoming a bloody mess in there. Turning the tables. Theory with a kick to the midsection. Tying his opponent up. Oh, is in some serious trouble. Strength. I honestly have no idea what is driving Owens right now. And I'm not even sure he does either. Owens is tough as they come, but also as stubborn as they come. A dangerous combination. And for a silver spoon kid like Theory, you have to think he's getting more frustrated by the second. Brain buster across the knee. And Theory is showing us what he can do here. No wasted motion on that one. a big win right there. And I'm going to check on uh, his opponent. Oh, hold up, hold up. The, this superstar. No, oh, come on, this is uncalled for. Now, what does this prove? Everyone show some reverence for Imperium. One of the most disciplined groups WWE has ever seen. Looking ready to dish out some punishment. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 517 pounds, Gunter and Giovanni Vinci, Imperium! Imperium is steadfast in their belief that the ring is sacred, that it must be protected from those who are true wrestlers. They harshly judge anyone who would claim to be as good as them, and their noses couldn't be any higher in the air. Well, maybe some superstars deserve to be looked down on. Maybe not everyone is as good as Imperium. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, there's a superiority complex there, Corey. And then there's whatever Imperium has going on.
As regimented as a military unit, Imperium will beat you down with ruthless efficiency. It's actually kind of scary. They attack with clockwork timing and precision. Cameron Grimes told me he considers his WWE contract a nice bonus. And he considers yours pocket change. Moments away from Grimes sending his opponent to the moon. The real Apollo Crews is here. And from Benway State, Nigeria, weighing in at 241 pounds, Apollo Crews. Just take a look at Apollo's eyes. He is completely focused on succeeding. We've seen many forms of Cruz, but this might be the best version yet. There's no telling what Cruz is capable of with this newfound focus. Well, if Cruz can truly unleash that untapped aggression we've seen under the surface, nobody's safe. Something I do appreciate about Imperium is that their goal is clear. They're simply here to defend the honor of the ring and dominate the competition. It really is that simple. These are men joined by a shared purpose. They're disciplined, shrewd, and will do what it takes to accomplish what they set out to do. Unfortunately for their opponents, what they set out to do is pull the competition apart limb from limb and leave them battered and broken in the ring. You can't argue their credentials, but don't overlook the team they're squaring off against. They've done their homework. They're coming into this fight as prepared as you can be. And that can be a difference maker, Corey. You can be a great team, but if your opponent has you scouted, you can become very vulnerable. Gunther got surprised there. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Now that'll do some serious damage. And he cuts bait, slipping out of the ring. Shut up, Saxton. This is just a small regrouping. Ooh, a sharp kick. Ooh, an arm breaker. That kind of force in the arm can have lingering effects. Not getting the two at this point has got to say something. Paying it right back with a reversal. Sent into the corner. And full control here. Face full of turnbuckle. Shoulder tackle after shoulder tackle. Grabs their opponent by the ankles. Oh! Might be. And here's a cover. Just after two. He got close there. It could be do or die. 
time. Measuring. Oh, face stop. Tagging his partner in now. Oh, my God. Half kick right on point. Ooh, upper clothesline. He can end it here. Only a one count before the kick out. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. Wow, breathtaking standing shooting star. Big forearm. Ouch. Oh, my gosh. And shoulders are down. Kicks out on the pinfall attempt. Showing his determination there with that kick out. Here comes that rolling fireman's carry. Uh-oh. Using the elbow to escape the attack. Series of reversals. And one more reversal. Talk about evenly matched here. There he goes, right into the corner. Shoulder tackle after shoulder tackle. This their opponent's uh -oh. legs. And uh -oh. it right back. Just a dominant display. Incredible power slam. Tag is made. Not the position you want to be in right now. Just tossed. Is, she gonna... is it enough here? He's able to kick out before two. I can't believe the ref didn't get two here. Grabbing a hold of the arm. And that was an efficient form of offense, that move. Focusing on a body part, picking it apart. The arm's as good of a place to focus as any. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Draped across the top rope. Clubbing forearm. Oh, Gunther put a stop to that. Nothing fancy there. Ooh. Working the midsection there. Grimes gets intercepted. Now a series of vicious steps. Oh man, that's like death by a thousand cuts. Oh god, that hurt. Cruise it off the tag. Oh, what a kick! Right to the gut. Carefully placed stop to the arm. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Ooh, vicious kick to the spine. Oh, straight forearm. Uh-oh. Still got more left in the tank. Being carried around with ease. Oh, that's how you establish dominance. That's just a kick. Dragon screw. Getting him into the corner. There. Oh, drop kick. This is it. No stops the count at two. How in the world did he kick out? He gets tagged in. Yeah. 
Nice side headlock applied. Oh, oh, and a right hand for good measure. Nice calf kick, great elevation. And this is good. Obviously still has some fight left. Whoa, drop kick all the way to the outside. Pretty drop kick. Cameron grinds on a collision course. Grimes has his sights set on the target. Cameron Grimes has his opponent. There's a small package driver. Minchie's down, and he might be out. Makes a cover. Man. Did it. It was not easy, but will emerge victorious tonight. Yeah, that's one of the performances you talk about for years to come. Well, we've got some company here. Some congratulatory company. It seems to me like this celebration might be cut a little short tonight. There is new business on the horizon. No rest for the weary. Well, we got to decide which one of these men will start the match for their respective teams. Yeah, it doesn't look like things are going too well, does it? Well, a few hiccups early on, but there's the bell, and here we go. Some dissension among the ranks, guys. It is critical to put teamwork ahead of ego in this match. Match underway now, and as we just saw, there's already some tension here between these superstars. Who are we to judge strategy, Cole? If it works, it works. And judging by the reaction, it worked. So what exactly is there to respect here? Tag is registered. Whoa! And Grimes capitalizes there. Counter upon counter, great minds thinking alike. Jumping knee strike on point. And he's able to reverse. Jarring impact. Tremendous pressure being applied in this head crank. Crank in the head. Pulls the ripcord. Knee strike to the face. Stop in the leg. Really just laying it in. How's that for a counter? Dropped with a suplex. And that was only a one. He thought he could get this thing finished fast. Nice. He's looking a little off balance. Cameron certainly put his best effort behind that move. Just a relentless assault from Grimes. You said it. Grimes is holding nothing back. Nasty. The hardest part of the ring. There is nothing but malicious intent when you deal damage out on the apron. Elusiveness from Grimes. Point of the elbow finds the mark. Mistake made by Grimes. Nice amateur takedown. All the way over. Big wrist.
risk here. He may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. Oh, man, by the skin of his teeth. Gee, what a way to make us sweat. Oh, no, trapping the arm. A vicious stomp to the hand. Great trouble here. Can he get it fully locked in? Stunning this blip. Oh, man, that was a thing of beauty. Right into a snapmare. Okay. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. Partner tags in. Here we go. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. A big forearm connect. Oh, no, it's roll up. No, a kick out. Not yet. Oh, man. And Sami Zayn reverses it. He's able to sidestep there. Into the corner. This can't be good. Oh, here we go. Brain Buster. Force going directly to the dome. That'll leave you seeing double for weeks. Reaches his partner for the tag. Ah, look at this. An arm breaker. Cody possibly realizing his opponent might be just as dangerous as he is. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Cameron drives on a collision course. Is it enough? The cover! The ref caught the brunt of that. Get ready, Saxton. You might be the replacement. Hits him with the counter. Launched up high. Backbreaker. Cover. Is it enough? Hey, wait, 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 wait. How can that be fair? Come on, ref. Keep these guys in check. From behind. Snap German suplex. He's been placed in the corner now. Look at this. Knee after oh. knee after knee. My goodness. goodness. Jesus. He may be in a bad way here. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. As, uh-oh, steered clear of that. One reversal after another. These two are reading each other's minds. Knew what was coming there. Cameron Grimes has his opponent. There's a small package driver. Grimes has it wrapped up. Close! Somehow, someway, escapes defeat. Still alive! And you can see the frustration building inside Cameron Grimes right now. Shot after shot, they're slamming their face down. Oh, saw it coming and got an elbow for their trouble. A counter answered by another counter. room, lick your wounds, and come back better. That's easier said than done, Corey, especially going through a dispute with someone like that. He might be harsh, but he's right, Byron. There's no telling what's going to happen with their relationship after this loss. Yeah, this is a big hurdle to overcome.
Here comes Master Gable. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Alpha Academy from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable. Chad Gable is a gold medalist who went to the next level as a member of the Alpha Academy. Thank you. Not someone you want to take lightly, despite his catchphrases. Now, we've seen this guy deadlift men more than double his size on multiple occasions. Gable's more than proven he's a legitimate threat in that ring. Oh, oh, oh. are you guys ready? And his opponent from Aberdeen, Washington, weighing in at 210 pounds, Brian Danielson! I love how this person approaches their matches with dignity and honest respect for their opponents. Oh, too bad this isn't a friendliness competition. It's a fight, and I don't think that attitude is going to do him any favors in there. The competition level has never been higher, but this guy's ready to prove he can hang. Funny games, clearly not on his mind here tonight. He's got one focus in this matchup here, and that's to secure the win at any cost. On the other side of the ring is a pure machine. Chad Gable considers it a show of wild disrespect for anyone to think they can hang with him from bell to bell. Proceed with caution because Chad Gable is a puzzle that's tough to solve. He laces him up to prove he is unfazable inside that 20 by 20 ring. And what he's looking for here looks like a potential submission maneuver coming. He needs to find an escape route. Nice. Sidekick finds the mark. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. Flexing their technical acumen. Is a very, very difficult submission to escape, but he did it. Wow, look at that agility. Agility like that, easier said than done, gentlemen. He's testing fate here in danger of a count out. Slam. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Take down. Look over the. It gets to the ropes. That's going to force the break. The better part of valor. All right, that's a lie. It cinched in. We're going to free the arm and does just that. Uh-oh, Forearm going to cut off the wind. Guillotine applied. He's got it locked in. The guillotine locked in. This is all... That no. was an incredible counter. <laughs> Roll behind. German suplex. The rope stopped the pin. 
Ah, look at this. Taking out the arm, great strategy. Chad is taking the advantage here. The master's knowledge on full display. Gable truly has all the knowledge and all the answers. Ouch! Leg breaker. That puts a stop to Gable. He's reversing the momentum on him. He's showing it's not time for lying down, it's time for fighting back. Stiff. Here he goes for the win. And the referee stops the count before two. Close call, but not enough yet. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. Down for a European arm breaker. Wicked roundhouse kick. Elusiveness from Gable. Bad predicament right here. Ooh, right to the throat. And he barely flips with a running knee strike. Gable is completely out of it. Good officiating there. Referee seeing him the ropes and breaking the count. Whoa! Suicide dive to the outside. Cole does it better. That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. Oh, let's go. <laughs> oh, what a suplex. He is delivering elbow after elbow. and physically exhausted now. And he has just taken an extraordinary amount of abuse. Disrupts the attack with an elbow to the gut. No! Oh, no! Crashing hard onto the floor! I don't care how bold you are, missing on those kind of maneuvers will send you to a medical facility. A medical attention might be needed out here. That was a nasty landing. Uh-oh, ankle pick. Beautiful takedown. Oh, knee crusher. That's going to hurt. Right to the knee. Ah, look at this. The arm absorbing the damage. If anything, this is the last thing that is going to get the WWE Universe to shoot. He's back in so close to a countout. You do not want to lose that way. Such a spirited assault from Gable. Just attack after attack from Gable. Oh, hold on a second. What, what is happening? Belly to belly. Oh, my, oh my goodness. Knew it was coming and answered with an emphatic power slam. Moved at the right time. Into a DDT! And Gable somehow holding steady late into this matchup. This match is reaching a tipping point, and Chad can feel it. We are seeing these men leaving it all on the line. No stone being left unturned. Everything the body can give has been brought to the table. Wrenching the arm, driven all the way down for a European arm breaker. Gable is a... Jack Gable from behind, hurts up his opponent. Nice German suplex, holding on for another. And why not? Let's get a trifecta. Nice. Chad with the exclamation mark. Kick out at 
two. I do not know how you survive that. Staying alive there is unheard of. And we all know how Gable gets when things don't go his way. Hopefully he can focus on getting... Will it be? He kicks out at two. Both competitors digging deep into their well to keep this match going. Certainly hurt, but this superstar wants to inflict even more punishment. Now, come on, what's the point? A little reminder. What an egomaniac. Now the party can really start. Huh, I just hope I'm invited this time. Byron, you're never invited. Like, ever. Like, never, ever, ever. Jeez, Michael. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from the Philippines, Caden Carter. A championship-winning college basketball standout, a bona fide athlete, and has continued her success in WWE. Already has won the NXT Women's Tag Titles, and I see plenty more success in her future. This woman needs to be resilient. Tonight, she is going to take some incredibly hard hits from Raquel. Raquel Rodriguez, a massive presence in the women's division. And from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Rodriguez. And NXT Rodriguez won the first ever Women's Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic with the first ever NXT Women's Tag Team Champions. Well, Cole, you can bet Raquel has some more firsts in store for the main roster. Look at her physique. Look at the size of her back. Well, Raquel Rodriguez also has a great personality, even though every time I ask, she won't share her workout tips with me. That's okay, Saxton. You couldn't survive Raquel's warm-up. The bell rings, and just look at Raquel Rodriguez, a towering figure in the women's division with fire in her eyes. And don't forget, an ability to completely bulldoze the competition, Cole. Insane power, unreal agility. There's a reason Raquel's able to just lay people out. 
Absolutely, Corey. Raquel Rodriguez is the real deal. And looking to cut her down to size here is Caden Carter. Fairly new to the WWE and already a list of impressive accomplishments. Oh boy, here it comes. Will she get it fully locked in? In trouble in the ground. Oh, just like that. Almost a miraculous escape and a side slam. Oh, she can end it here. No early kick out. Doesn't bode well if you still can't get more than a one count by now. Oh, what a power slam. Carter able to avoid impact. Corey, the strength of Raquel Rodriguez is something that never ceases to amaze. Is that what earns her the W tonight? It might, but it won't be the only factor. Raquel's power overshadows her adaptability, which has also taken her very far. And that's an ability that is not nearly as easy to target. Call super kick! Oh, man, face buster! Set out Matt Slam. Able to get out of the way. She anticipated that one. Drop kick. That knee must be the cover. And they kick out at two. Not yet. Oh, that's gonna sting your back. Ah. Uh. Oh man, looks like her opponent's not gonna need a chiropractor. And Caden Carter is going full tilt here. Raquel's certainly being tested here. What a hot shot. It's an all the way to the outside. Point. Uh oh. Carter able to avoid impact. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. Hoisted over into the gory special. Could be looking for a submission here. Oh, this is so painful. The gore. And for some reason, she lets go of the hold. Could have just been a tease of the potential agony that's yet to come. Big forearm connects. Tossing their opponent into position, making the climb from the top corkscrew senton. Raquel just made everyone shudder with that move. Oh, there's a response against Raquel. Hoist their opponent up for a fireman's carry. Into a light drop. Nice. No way Raquel's getting up now. What a kick out. I don't believe it. I think it took everything Raquel had left in her to power out of that pin attempt. That is firing your biggest shot, but leaving your prey left standing. Time to reload. So much damage inflicted. Controlling the arm into a hammerlock flatliner. Looking for the victory. Two count. A hard-fought matchup for this superstar, celebrating their victory at the moment. Why? Oh, 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 oh. What's the purpose of this? You, you won the match. It's about making a statement, Saxton. It's about making sure your opponent remembers your name in the morning. This is ridiculous.